Good day drivers. So today I'm going to show you how to drain your antifreeze from your car. Usually it's the same thing on any car. It's just some car set up different. But right now I have a 06 Mitsubishi Outlander. And the reason why I'm draining my antifreeze is because it get dark or usually it's just the time need to be drained. Usually you could drain your antifreeze every year. Okay, you could check it if it's dark you need to drain it and put new antifreeze in it. Your car don't have to be overheat to you don't have to be overheat to you know drain your antifreeze. So I just gonna drain mines. Pretty easy. You just make sure you open this up first, open the cover first, take it off. Make sure the car is not hot because if it's hot it's gonna pressurize and can burn you, you know. So make sure it's off and cold. Everything is just not running. All right, so so this is my antifreeze. Right? I'm gonna drain it. I can show you the easy way to drain antifreeze. So usually when I drain in my antifreeze, you're gonna need a bucket like that, any bucket that can hold enough, and uh, two two rhinos, okay, and you need a, a roller, okay. Maybe you need a flashlight and gloves. Most important thing you need are glasses over your eyes, just to protect your eyes, just in case any antifreeze fall in your eyes. That's for safety. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go underneath the car and check where is the drainer. And now uh, we're gonna look. And hope you can see the drainer is right over there. A little closer. Right there. That's the drainer right there. Okay. I'm gonna try to hold it for you. Dark here. I'm gonna touch it. So this is the drainer right here. I'm touching it right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do anti-clockwise to open it and that's where the antifreeze is gonna, gonna drain out. And this just gonna be from the radiator and at flushing the system I'm just gonna drain at least when I put it the new antifreeze in the engine will run better or will cool the engine down better okay that's one of the reasons why and also the reason why when you drain the antifreeze you it is good because it lubric also help lubricate the engine in the winter time and it don't frozen quickly okay that's one of another reason As you can see, it's draining from the drainer. Okay. Well, you don't have to take that drain plug right out. Just leave it halfway until you get enough. Until it stops draining, you're going to tighten it back. All right. There's another, there's another thing. Sometimes if you want, you could turn on the vehicle for at least a couple of seconds and or at least one minute and the engine will drive more antifreeze out in the radiator to drain more. That's up to you if you, if you need that. But if you have one bottle of antifreeze, I would recommend you really not to do that. But sometimes if you need more antifreeze, I would just add a little more water to whatever antifreeze I have. So it depends on what your car carry or and you know whatever you your antifreeze or your car radiator use antifreeze i'm using 50 50 but some car recommend different antifreeze so I'll just read up your manual and make sure you buying the right antifreeze but right now using a 50 50. and remember meanwhile you're draining your antifreeze remember this cover gotta be half don't have this on because sometimes you, you, it won't drain like that. So make sure this off. At least you completely have most of it drained out from the radiator. So after your antifreeze drain out, done completely. Make sure it's, you know, give it at least 10 minutes. Until you don't see no more um, draining or no dripping. Then you go back underneath the car. 
and tighten back your plug always remember tighten your plug okay there's another secret some cars have a butterfly drain plug and some cars have a um a screwdriver so it will be underneath the bottom of the radiator you just need a screwdriver to screw it out or to screw it a little bit halfway to drain the antifreeze if when you uh, what i'm trying to say that when you tighten back these plugs don't over tighten it it can break off so next time you won't have the chance to drain the antifreeze okay okay so right now we're gonna pour our antifreeze coolant It's gotta take your time or you get a funnel you could use a funnel for this but i'm just gonna use it as our it is just pour it out so we're just gonna pour all the way until it full right up Okay, so this is what you're gonna when you fill, fill it up. This is why what it's gonna look like. So remember, you already have coolant inside the engine already, so you don't have to worry about that because you didn't turn it on. That's why I'm saying sometimes it's best to just drain the radiator radiator by itself. Because if you turn on the engine, you would end up need more than that bottle that that you see I show you earlier in the video. Okay, so also remember your coolant like your reservoir. Check your reservoir. Make sure you have antifreeze in it okay what i would do yeah i would check this if i have this a little i would pour but don't fill don't fill up your reservoir all the way up to the top because you need space just in case you have too much in the radiator this pour back through this hose right back to the reservoir so just half the reservoir okay if you already have coolant in the reservoir already just leave it okay so that's it basically and you just put back your put back the cover and what i would do once you turn on the vehicle you could turn it on for like only like i would say maybe one minute then you open it back just to check and make sure it don't suck all the way down sometime because you turn on the engine it's going to circulate more so you will need more in this radiator but the only good thing about it, remember that you already pour in the coolant. So if you forget to pour back in the radiator, the radiator will suck from the reservoir back to the coolant. So you still have enough. So the most important thing, remember to put antifreeze in your, in your reservoir. Okay? And that's it. Thank you. And hopefully this, you know, hopefully you learned something. If you're interested, just hit the bell for notification or press likes for more videos. All right. Thank you.